Hey y'all, welcome back. I'm on my way out, y'all. I've been in the house for the last couple days. Stuck in the house. For no reason. Just ain't feel like going nowhere, y'all. Just, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, last week, I'm going to show y'all what I've been up to. Last week, I went to, um, I met up with Tammy, and we went to an estate sale. I got two things. I'm going to show you one of them. The other one is already in storage. Because I did go to storage on Sunday. I, I wanted to have another sale. Y'all, but I got to storage. I cut my hand all up. Can y'all see that? It was infected the last couple days. Is look, I took the bandage off so it could try to heal now. Because I had to bandage it up. Y'all, I don't know. Let me tell you. I had the worst luck. I'm in there with all that dust and everything in storage. Cut my hand. And I put a little alcohol, like a sanitizer on it. And then I got home and forgot about it. I couldn't find nothing in storage to sell. I need to get in my garage. Y'all, it's been a hassle. But anyway, I ain't gonna bore y'all with all that. After I, so let me tell you what I did. After I left Tammy on Friday, I, after we left the garage sale, I meant a state sale, um, I uh, went to Sam's. Cause y'all, Sugar Honey talked me into going to Sam, getting Sam's. So, because the gas was going to be cheaper it ain't <laughs> they have raised the price up just about the same as everybody else now so um anyway i went in there because i got 45 dollars free and i think it's still going on y'all i think till the end of this month i'm not sure if you now i don't know if it's online or in store too but well, i did it online the membership is $45. You pay it. But then once you sign up and get your card, $45 goes to your account. So when you go to the register to pay on your first time, it takes $45 off. As long as you spend over the $45. And there's some things like you can't buy gas, you can't buy milk, and a couple other things. Batteries and stuff like that. You can't buy that. But I got some food. And um, big giant food. Yeah, that's what I don't like about saying. I'm driving like an old lady. with all up on the car. <laughs> My back is hurting, so I'm trying to stretch it. But anyway, I'm going to show y'all what I got. Because I did do a quick um, cart haul from the cart in the parking lot to show y'all what I got. So hold on, I'm going to show y'all that. Hey, y'all, I'm outside in front of Sam's. Let me show y'all my Sam's haul real quick before I put it in the car. I got some Mediterranean salad. And this was, what, $4.96? Look at this Caesar salad. It's enough to feed everybody. Okay? Everybody. All of us. This was $7.42. Look at that. That's nice. That's a nice looking salad. And I'm having it tonight with my pizza. And then they had chicken. Chicken breast fillets. You get four of them in the pack. And um, what was this? $8.72 for four big, nice ones. And then I got, uh, showing y'all real quick, y'all, before I get, because I ain't going to do this when I get home. This was $9.22. Nope, $5.72. Y'all, I can't see. Chicken thighs. Look at all these chicken thighs, y'all. This is five pounds. It was 99 cents a pound. Then I got... This was $4.22 for uh, five pounds, no, four pounds of, a little over four pounds of chicken drumsticks. Y'all, four whole pounds of waffle fries. Yeah, this was like $8 and some cent, I believe. I got two pounds of colossal shrimp, right? I got 24 hot dogs. This is why I don't do Sam's, y'all. 16 hot dog rolls, who's eating this food? Two packs of um, raisin bread. And look at these chips. Gigantic. Barbecue chips and some Doritos. And then, I, like I said, I got that pizza that was already um, cooked. All right, y'all. I'm going to get with y'all in one second. Okay. So, I did all of that. Um, then, I had to go home, put all that stuff away. That Mediterranean salad, y'all, let me tell you. If I got time, I might stop past there and pick some of that up again. And the pizza was good. It was really good. I won't get the Supreme. I did get the Supreme with everything on it. It was a little busy because I realized I forgot. I don't like Supreme pizza, you know, with all the sausage and all that kind of stuff. And uh, I like sausage plain. I like pepperoni plain, but I don't like everything all mixed up. 
But anyway, y'all, for $8.99 or something like that, to go in there if you got a Sam's card and it's Pizza Friday and you don't feel like cooking, depending on the size of your family, pick up one or two of them because it, it's enough for a family of four. It's enough for a family. I had to freeze some. Um, so it's enough for a family of four. So if you got a family of six or whatever, you want to pick up two, y'all, that's not bad. It's under 20 bucks. You get pizza. Now, some of y'all probably like, girl, we already do that. Uh, here's the thing. It's new to me because I'm not big on these big box, you know, these stores because you got to buy enough for the, for an army. Y'all, I separated up them waffle fries. I got like six of the, the quart size freezer bags full of what am I going to do with that? I don't know. I ain't even a fries person. But anyway, so I did all of that. Um, Yeah, but that Mediterranean. Now, the Caesar salad, didn't like the dressing. And I noticed the lettuce went very fast. Like, I didn't get a chance to finish it before the lettuce had turned on me. And um, let me make sure I don't go past where I'm going. So I'm getting ready to run past the thrift store. I'll probably take y'all in there with me because I'm going to go look bag shopping, little junk bag shopping. That's all I'm looking for. But anyway, the Mediterranean salad that I got, superb. Y'all, I tore them shrimp up too. I was having shrimp every day since then, and I had the last bit last night. Mm -hmm. Y'all, I've been putting them in the air fryer, like you marinate them, and then in the shells and put them in the air fryer in the shells. Peel them when you get them out. I make me a little dipping sauce. I've been tearing them up. They were good. I think I'm going to get some more of them too. Because I think they were like $13 for two pounds. It says colossal. But they're about. They're like an extra large. They're nice though. So anyway. That's what I did. And then I was working on the balcony. Finally got that done. The wood. Um, I had showed y'all another shelving unit that I was going to put up like a tall plant sand over on the other side of the balcony in one of the last videos when I was talking about the balcony well y'all that thing came in 2,538,000 uh, parts okay they wanted me to build the thing all they did was saw the wood that was it they want you to build the whole thing I couldn't do it I got a splinter two splinters one in this hand one in this hand and then it was looking wonky I was like nah Y'all can have that. Took it back. I went on Amazon, started the return, dropped the box off at Cole. Couldn't even get it closed back up. I was like, here, Cole, that's y'all's problem. So I did that. Then I wound up deciding, you know what? I'm just going to use the bar cart that I don't use that's inside. So I use that as like a plant stand type of thingy. Um, you know, and it holds my lanterns when, you know, I got them out the way and stuff like that. So that side, I mean, that's what I'm using that for. It's a small space. I filled it completely up. You know what I mean? And it makes it look bigger than what it is because I filled it up, you know. So my me and three imaginary guests have more than enough room to sit out there and watch a movie, have a little dinner, a couple drinks. Me, you know me, non-alcoholic. But if somebody wanted something that was alcoholic, as long as they wasn't driving, sure, go ahead, have one. You know? <laughs> I'm playing imaginary games here, y'all. But yeah, so I'm going to show y'all that. I did put up a video. However, I'm going to stick that video in here um, or a version of it because I have a couple versions of it. And um, for some people who don't watch my little short videos, I'm going to stick that into uh, this clip next let y'all see that of the balcony just about finished i mean you know with as with anything during the whole season into fall that you know I, i'm out there and even sometime in the winter with me here in texas um there might be a change or two here or there you know what i mean but for the most part it's basically set up the way it is i'm not gonna probably around end of august beginning of september when stuff goes on sale really good i might buy something for next year but for the most part it's going to stay the way it is so um you know like some different cushions or something i'll probably do but for right now i got what i got but hold on let me show y'all that and then i'll be back with you and then we're gonna i gotta stop at the post office colette your mail is coming girl i was stuck in the house with you last couple days but it's coming to you Right now, I'm getting ready to pull into the post office and drop it off. And then I'm going to run into uh, 
I'm gonna run into uh, Plaza Thrift, which is across the street. And um, if I find any bags in there, I'll show y'all. All right, y'all. Okay, y'all, let's look at this balcony. Everything's basically the same. I'm gonna point out a few of the things that are different. I finally finished. I'm going to change out the curtains. They're a little dingy, but we still got pollen floating around. So I'm gonna wait for that a couple more weeks. Then I'm gonna put new ones up. So I get them from Ikea and they're not expensive at all. Anyway, I did put some new plants out. I potted those and hopefully they'll grow um, and get taller as the summer goes on. But I still have the same pillows out. And um, lighting wise, around the railing, I did add a little more of the lighting and you'll see that in a minute. I added another strand on that side there, the uh, long side. Um, and I kept it down low because when I did put it up high, the lighting is just a glow in the evening. So, um, you know, it, it gave more light when it was down on the railing. Okay, here you see that I set the table with some dishes I had got from Hobby Lobby a couple years ago and a little tropical prints. I threw that out. And again, that would change with, you know, whatever I was doing. And um, then uh, what else did I do out here? Oh, I put a new TV stand and you'll see that in a minute. I'll go back to that. But I'm just showing how, you know, of course, this doesn't sit out there all the time. And there's another plant. Then I put my old, the bar cart that I got last summer. Um, I got that from Amazon. I put that out with the plants over here. It's like a little plant area and a place to hold my um, lanterns, you know, when they weren't in use. And then I have some more uh, plants rooting on the other side there. But yeah, I raised the TV up and I'm going to pan over there in a minute. And um, so that was it. The TV stand that I was, I mean, the plant stand I was going to put in, y'all, it was too much to put together. I took it back. I <laughs> couldn't do it. But yeah, I just wanted to show y'all what I did. Like I said, there's another plant there that's new. And um, the TV stand, you see, I just ordered that from Amazon, a little corner shelf. And it raised the TV up, which made a big difference from how low it was. But yeah, so I'm going to change out the curtains and everything um, in a couple weeks when the pollen dies down. So it's not so bad. But yep, that's it. Okay, y'all, there's the golf course. And I just sit out there in the morning and have my coffee. And um, yep, thanks for watching. Okay, y'all, hope y'all enjoyed the balcony. I know I just got even darker. I don't know what's going on with this darn camera. But anyway, I just came out of the post office. Now I'm going over here to the thrift store. And mm, I don't know what that was. And... Um, I'm going to, um, take, I'm going to probably take y'all in here with me, but their music is loud, so I will videotape, but I'll have to do a voiceover on the next clip with, um, me going in there. Um, I hope they're not too crowded, because I can't stand fighting with people, but I'm going to do it. Anyways, I'm gonna, I want to show y'all the wall of bags, you know, and, um, the, th the thing about this one is they don't have a lot of turnover with their bags. So I've just been finding the same ones that I'm leaving behind. But I haven't been here since uh, me and Caroline were here on Saturday. Yeah. So today is Thursday. I know, y'all. I've been Sunday after I parked my car. I never got back into it. I, n I went around to the mailbox once, and that was on Wednesday. I got some shoes I'm going to show y'all, too. But I found, and you ladies... Uh, that's up in age like me. Yo, I got something for us. Yes, I do. Just wait. I'm going to show you when I get home. All right, the next clip will be me going in the thrift store, though. Let me turn in here because I'm just getting here to Plaza Thrift. Hold on one second, y'all. Okay, y'all, let's go thrifting. Let's see. This music is loud, like I said, so I will probably be, be doing a voiceover on the next part, but I am here at Plaza Thrift in Plano. Let's go in here see what they got. Hey y'all, okay, this store is packed. I'm just gonna show y'all the wall of bags. They have a whole wall full of these things and it's kind of uh, sparse right now, but I did find a few. I'm gonna glance and show you guys in the cart in a minute. But I, you know, I really didn't do much more in the thrift store. I um, glanced at the bags and the, uh, you know, but the, the, the line was so, I mean, the aisle was so packed. I, did, I was gonna go through the bags with y'all. But I didn't. It was just so many people. And people think that they you want them on their video. Uh, yeah, so I'm like, I wasn't in the mood for that today. But yeah, so anyway, all of these bags, y'all, pink, blue, and white was half off. So I did pick most of mine. 
that were pink and blue so I can get them half off. I, I think I got one yellow, one or two. But I did get some, and I will show y'all at the end of this video the bags. I'm not going to open them on here, but I'll just show it to you because I did a quick uh, show you guys what I got. But yeah, that's it. And right here is where I'm showing you um, a couple that I got, and I got that little uh, carry bag. But yeah, that's all I got today. And uh, if you see these in your store, pick them up because I have found some with some pieces in there that really, you know, you can make some money on. These are nice little hidden treasures. And I usually open these on uh, my TikTok. If you guys aren't following me, I am Thrift Queen DFW on TikTok. Check me out. All right, I'll see you guys in the next clip. Hey, y'all, I'm back. I just showed you a little clip of where the bags are. The store was packed. I barely got that. I did get a couple bags, and I'm gonna be opening these. I open these over on TikTok. I might open some. I got one. I might open one or two on, on YouTube. And I got two. And that pink, blue, and white was half off. And I got most of them half off. I think I got one, like a yellow. This yellow here, that wasn't half off. I gotta be careful, because that one's making a lot of noise. Then, uh, I think I got what five or six? Oh, I got one. Look for the next jewelry sale. Look at all these jewelry boxes. Yeah, I'm ready for y'all. So I got five of these, other than the ones, so and six, including uh, the one with the jewelry. So we'll open these and see. And only one wasn't half off. Then I found this. Another one of these Givenchy perfume bags. They're good totes. So I got that. And that was it out of that store. And then, what did I get? I got something from uh, Goodwill a couple days ago. Last week. Last week. It was last week. Let me show y'all. I do have some other stuff in the house. But I'll add that to my next video. Next vlog video. The next video y'all are going to see is going to be that $99 jewelry bag. Yeah. Let me see if I can grab this, y'all, and show you what I got. It's not much, but I'm going to just show you. And then I'm going to close this vlog out. I'm sitting here at Walmart because i got to run in and pick up a couple things. But I just wanted to catch y'all up with what was going on. So that's all that happened. What you saw and heard today was all that happened this week. I got this. And this was $1.99 green at... Hmm, I don't remember where this was, y'all. Oh, I know where it was. It was at um, the same store, Plaza Thrift, but the one in Plano on K Avenue. This is nice. This is by S-A-S-A-K-I Crystal. 24% lead Japan. And I looked it up. It's a nice running price on that. So I got that little vase and I got this for my plants outside because I needed one for my uh, peppermint herbs. So it was just a terracotta pot and this was a dollar, nope, 95 cents. Wasn't uh, 191, but it was marked down to um, 95 cents. Then at Goodwill, look at this bag. I thought this was so cute. It's a clutch, right? But this is how it opens. You see these bars right here? Look, the zipper slides down on each side. It doesn't have a name. And then it's, it's vintage though. It got some age to it. And it opens up like that. And then you can close it back up like this. And pulling these back up. I thought that was cute. And this was $3.99 at um, a clutch and you know, cosmetic bag at uh, Goodwill. And then I got these for $0.55 cent a piece too for my um, 4th of July table setting. Two little white salad plates. But that's it, y'all. It's hot. It is 100 degrees right there. Yes. Probably more on my phone. Um, but yeah, I'm going to run into Walmart and pick up a couple things I need. Then I'm going to barricade back up in the house. And um, within the next day or two, you're going to see that jewelry jar. I finally did open it. Yeah. It was what I was expecting. Yeah. So don't be spending that much money in the store i got it half off i got it for 49.99 because it was half off one day but i'm still mad that i spent that i've had way better 
jewelry jars slash bags then yeah so anyway I'm gonna get off of here and run into Walmart. I'm gonna put this video up for y'all. I hope you enjoyed today, me catching y'all up. And I'm y'all, I had to go into hiding because I just needed a little break again. I'm getting ready to get on YouTube strong though. Because I have some things that are coming up with hopefully things that could, you know, help me and motivate me with my channel again. But uh yeah, I'm getting ready to come back strong. I decided I was either gonna give it up or I was gonna come back in a full-time way and come back strong again and build my channel up so i think that's what i'm going to be doing but we'll talk about that on saturday on the live but um yeah so today is thursday probably saturday early for the jewelry jar and then we'll be on saturday live all right y'all i'm gonna talk to y'all later <laughs> it's hot you see me sweating already i just pulled up here all right y'all i'll see you later thanks for watching Bye bye